Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert between number bases in the special case that one base is a power of another. For example, we're going to be looking at converting between base 2 and bases 4 or 8, because 2 squared is 4 and 2 to the third power is 8. Before we do that, let's take a look at converting 5, 3, base 8 to base 10. So we have to remember what base 8 means. The place values are all powers of 8. The first place value is 8 to the 0, the second place value is 8 to the 1st, and so on. You multiply the face values 5 and 3 times their respective place values. So really, 5, 3, base 8 is 5 times 8 to the 1st plus 3 times 8 to the 0. That's going to be 40 plus 3, or 43, in base 10, the number system that we use every day. Now let's convert 101011 base 2 to base 10. Again, since this is base 2, each place value is a power of 2. Now, the zeros don't contribute anything, because if you multiply anything times 0, you get 0. So what we actually end up doing is adding 1 times 2 to the 5th, plus 1 times 2 cubed, plus 1 times 2 to the 1st, plus 1 times 2 to the 0. Now, 2 to the 5th is 32. 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the 1st is 2, and 2 to the 0 is 1, and is 43. So it turns out that these two numbers are the same value when we convert them to base 10. Interestingly, if you look at this table which has the base 8 numbers listed and the base 2 numbers listed, we see a correlation here. I'm going to add leading zeros to the beginnings of the base 2 numbers to make sure that they are all going to be 3 digit numbers for comparison. And I'm going to look up the number 5 on the base 8 list and compare that to the corresponding number on the base 2 list, which is 101. And we see that we've essentially replaced 5 with 101. And 3 in base 8 corresponds to 011 in base 2. So it's as if we've actually replaced groups of 3 digits in base 2 with a single digit in base 8 that it corresponds to. And the reason that this happens, that it's 3 digits, is because 2 to the third power is actually actually 8. This works whenever you have bases that are powers of each other. Let's go ahead and convert 1325 base 8 directly to base 2 using this idea that we have a, for each one digit in base 8, we have three digits from base 2. You would say the digit 1 in base 8 is going to be replaced with 001 in base 2. The digit 3 in base 8 is going to be replaced with 011 in base 2. The digit 2 in base 8 is going to be replaced with 010. The digit 5 in base 8 is going to be replaced with 101. And so this is the equivalent number in base 2. Now when you can't do this, the alternative is to convert base 8 to base 10 and then take that number and convert it back to base 2, which is a much longer process. So when you recognize that one base is a power of another, it can really save some time. Let's try a different base, base 4 and base 2. Because 2 squared is equal to 4, we know we can do a shortcut where 2 base 2 digits corresponds to 1 base 4 digit. Specifically, we're going to convert 1320 from base 4 into its corresponding base 2 version. If you'd like to try this on your own, you can pause the video and then push play when you're ready to check your answer. Before we can do the conversion, we need to add leading zeros to our base 2 numbers because all of our numbers in base 2 have to have two digits. Then we're going to look at the leading digit in our base 4 number, which is 1, and we see that that corresponds to 0, 1 in base 2. Then we're going to look at the next digit 3, that corresponds to 1, 1 in base 2. Then we're going to look at the next digit 2, which corresponds to 1, 0 in base 2. Then our last digit 0, which corresponds to 0, 0 in base 2. So 1, 3, 2, 0 base 4 is the same as 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 in base 2. Now leading zeros are not 
necessary. So this would be the same as 1111000 in base 2. Here we have an example that says devise a similar method for converting between base 3 and base 9 and use it to carry out the conversion. The key here will be to two steps. First, comparing the bases to determine how many digits we need and then setting up a table where we actually list out the equivalent numbers. 3 to the second power is 9, so that means that for every 2 base 3 digits, we convert to 1 base 9 digit. So you're going to make a table listing out all your base 9 digits. So in base 9, we have the digits 0 through 8. There is no number 9. Remember, to go up to 9, we actually have to go to the next place value, so it would look like 1, 0. Now remember, in base 3, we're only going to have a 0, a 1, a 2. When we get to 3, we have to roll over to the next place value. I'm going to write these with two digits. I'm going to write 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, so I have pairs of digits to match up. After 2, we roll over to the next place value, so we're going to have to go to what looks like 10 to us, 1, 0. Then we continue increasing the first place value, keeping the 1 and then a 1, a 1 and then a 2. I would like to say 1, 3, but we've run out of digits. So we have to increase the next place value to a 2, and this is going to be 0, and we start over again. So we're going to have then 2, 1, 2, 2, roll over to yet another place value. So let's take that number in base 3 and convert it to base 9 by pairing off. So each two digits digits in base 3 corresponds to one digit in base 9, and we, we came up with an odd number of digits, so that's okay. We'll go ahead and tack on a leading 0. So what we have for our pairs is going to be 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 0, 1, 2, 2, 1. We just look those up and see which base 9 digits they correspond to. So our final answer is 25657 in base 9. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it because that helps other students to find the video.